being awake this early feels wrong. Welcome to the Esplanade Hotel. Good morning, we start today's video off in, you guessed it, the ever famous stairwell. Going down to breakfast. And then we've got some interesting things planned today. How well it's going to go, eh, it's debatable. But, uh, I will catch up to you when we're doing something. For now, B-roll. Well, it is day number three, three officially, of the Tex Turkey and Tinsel adventure thingy. But uh, we are at the Eden Project. After uh, having a chat with an interesting member of staff, all I can say is, when you're here, careful, the tour guides bite. Anyway, moving swiftly on from that, we've got a little bit of a short walk down to visitor centre, and then we've got maybe some ice skating, depends. And a, some mutt over there. I've got no idea who that is, but they're clearly trying to get ahead of themselves. Well, here's something interesting. How big of a newspaper do you reckon we're going to need to squash that? Or how big of a jar to put it into the outside? Wait, we are outside. Well, I guess whoever put these up here sure had this as a bright idea. Yes, the bad puns continue. No, I'm still not sorry for them. Anyway, moving on. So here we are now at a little place known as the Rainforest Biome. It is probably one of the uh, major biomes that you can see when you're walking down here, but uh, I kind of forgot to film, but we've got all different rainforests. As of right now, we are currently just here. We are by, where have we got? We have got houseplants. And as we go further and further across, we'll go down to, I believe it is, ah, we go rainforest, kind of walkway, the weather maker, and West Africa. This is gonna be a long walk. Welcome to the Far Flung Islands, also known as this board right here. We have got an oar, for when everybody says it's either this or that, there is the oar. We've got a little bit of a pool of things, and apparently this is made up of uh, stuff about Polynesia and also Hawaii. I can't uh, really put it across on camera just how tall this building is. It is really tall! Well, I guess I had a sale on whatever was on here. Uh, I should stop these terrible puns, but I'm not gonna. Anyway, walking further around the rainforest biome, we have some paddles about some things. Let's see what we have. Aloha, love of the land. If you think I'm gonna try and say that, no, because um, I don't wanna butcher anything and have half the Hawaiians on Earth be very angry at me. But we've got some pretty cool things over here. We've got the canoe plants, which we say are, what are these things? Oh. Of these. I'm just going to pan down these because there's quite a lot here and I'm running out of SD card space as well as this place being incredibly warm and my camera being very very angry at me for trying to get it to work in hot weather because uh, like me it is British we don't do well with the heat. So before my camera lens messes up for the 478th time there is this interesting little shack type building thing that is just in at the midst of the Eden Project's biome rainforest dome thing, that. But over here, it says uh, there is another 30 minutes to get around here. So, um, also about that view. But uh, yeah, we could be here for quite a while. So if there's any more clips on here, there will be. If not, it means my camera has overheated or I've run out of SD card space. We'll see what happens next. And so, feeling like I'm a celebrity, get me out of here because it's way too warm. We're going across a, whoa, oh my God, that is a rope bridge. <laughs> Whoever, oh God, it's moving. Uh, <laughs> it's just moving. There's people walking across it, it's moving. Oh my God, <laughs> not used to this. I am not used to a rope bridge, at least I didn't go that way. Not used to a rope bridge, wow. Ready, set, cannonball. Tree, it's a tree, it's a tree. So my camera has decided to not overheat as much now and we've got sugar and the, the truck. It's actually pretty cool. 
wonder if I can, can I get my camera up to here? Let's have a look. I've got no idea if that's or anything, I'm going to have to look at that in post, but that's pretty interesting that the, there's just like a whole truck out here. It's kind of missing these things we call um, axles. Actually no, scratch that, it's got axles, they're just not very well propped up. Hmm, that's going to be interesting. After a lengthy journey and almost boiling to death, we've finally got to the next bit, which is the Mediterranean. Just kidding. That's the next bowl biome thingy. But uh, we have a driveway to a wall, and then we've got Villa Lucia. And what looks like a pretty cool little spot just around the corner as well. So let's go ahead, take a little walk around the Mediterranean, and go and see what we can find. Down here we've got a little thing known as the Butter Spook Tree or Cunona Capensis, I probably butchered that. But uh, if you think I'm trying to read the one underneath it, oh, 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 forget that. All I can say is, it is definitely a tree. And, uh, oh, that's really close. Wait, can I get that to go in frame? Let's see, do we get the shot of the century? No, it's just blurry as anything. Okay, moving us swiftly on. And here we see a whole bunch of proper audio setups. Just missing the microphone, so uh, Eden Project, if you want to give me one of these stands and maybe a microphone to go with it, that would be very much appreciated. Okay. How have I only just noticed the fact that there's a giant disco ball all the way up there? I'm talking that's a really long, long way up there. Like, a really long way. What kind of discos do you have in here? I'm sure you could probably make a pun from that. People in the comments, do your thing. And here we have a whole load of different uh, chili pebbles. Chili pebbles? Sure. Chili peppers. <laughs> We've got the rooster spur down here, which someone else around me has just pointed out. On the Scoville units, it is 180,000. Yeah, I think I'll pass on that, thank you very much. There is no Carolina Reaper here, but uh, that is probably the hottest chili to exist on the planet. I think they've made other ones since then, I really don't know. I've been trying to keep up with them, but not been doing a very good job. And thankfully, the chocolate one down here, despite the name, it is not actually chocolate, I know. I'm deeply saddened too, but uh, it's only 0 to 500 Scovilles, thankfully. So that one I could probably try, but the one down there, no, I think I'm good, thank you. Okay, I didn't make a note of these going back down because there was just a lot of walking to do, but the sky's changing, so we're trying to walk back and get to a coach or a shop or something before we get absolutely soaked. Unless you look that way where it's just nice blue sky. But there are these interesting little statue things. There's one back there we started the clip off with. And then there's, well, this. I don't know what it is, but it looks like it could impale you, and I'm going to move before I get impaled by it. Along the walk, we found this thing, the XC40 Recharge. It's a Volvo but it's electric and they've done a horrible job at covering up the number plate like there is. It's kind of interesting these things can go off-road, go do whatever they want to do, but the thing that bugs me, pure electric. Now, if you know me, you know I've never been one for electric vehicles. I think my Forza videos have said enough about that. But, uh, I mean, I, I don't know. It looks cool, yeah, but the fact it's electric is kind of a bit, mm, I don't know. It's not a selling point for me, but there's probably going to be those people that like it, and to that I wish you all the best of luck. But uh, I will stick with something that makes a bit of pelt and something I can drift in, because that's what I want to do eventually. If somebody has a spare drift car, please just, just, just let me know, you know, just send me a message, please. And so we are back up here. We've got Dome 2, Dome 1, which honestly felt like an oven. The stage which we didn't quite get a chance to look at, but uh, Eden Project, if you want to sponsor me another trip back down here so we go ice skating, you know, just send me a message, please. And then over here we've got the Invisible Worlds building, also known as the Core Building, also known as what looks like a bit of a deformed hedgehog. But, uh, yeah, next up is go back up to have a look at the shop and see what's up there. Okay, this one I've got no idea if you can even hear me or not, so I'm having to cup my hand around the microphone or where the mic muff is to hold it in place. But we're just up on a bit of a bridge with... Well, um, I think it can be described as quite a drop. But, uh, yeah, over there you've got the rest of the Eden Project. And over there is, when it loads in, over there is a whole adventure area with, like, different sorts of, well, everything, really. But, uh, might have got that eventually, but it probably won't be this video. Sorry about that. And so, uh, there is a look around the Eden Project. However, do not go anywhere because there are still, uh, Plymouth to go. I nearly forgot the name of it. And why is there a bugle up there? I'm not going to ask. But we've got Plymouth to go tomorrow and also some more entertainments tonight. And potentially a round of table football and hopefully I won't get absolutely demolished like last time. So let's go ahead and make our way back. And so we're back up on the ever famous staircase of lights and stuff. But it has been a pretty fun day. 
played another couple games of pool, won one, uh, lost one, so that's always fun. But what we're going to be doing is probably going back to hotel room, so that's probably when I'm going to call it for day number three. But I will see you all in day number four, which sees us go around the edge of Plymouth, which is going to be fun, because then I can get a new SD card and film some more without having to worry about my storage space running out. Anyway, onwards to day number four, and onward to Plymouth. Welcome to a very sunny Plymouth. Just spent about an hour and a half or something on the coach trying to get here. Traffic was actually all right. There's a couple of hills and some very, very, very tight roads and apparently a couple of Mustangs, which I wish I'd have got on video, but maybe we might see them a bit later on. But we're gonna go down there to the left into city center and go and see what's about. So away we go. So after a little bit of b-roll and having a look around at the market and this rather interesting arch of just lights, lights and nothing but more lights, look it's absolutely filled with them and some random fiesta just way off over there. But I think next up is going to be going down to the local Argos to go and get myself an SD card because this camera is very much complaining at me and we still need this video to continue because there's more for dinner tonight. Way check we're back again it has been a fantastic day i wish i just stayed maybe like an hour longer at plymouth but uh we have got some dinner to have and hopefully some more entertainment tonight which means i may or may not get dmca notices for the second half of the second half of this video the part two of part two but who knows also i want to point out there is a really nice sort of mosaic type picture here because if we go further in it's all that. That's pretty cool. Right, to hotel room. Well, I say go back to a hotel room. More like hotel balcony because uh, we have one and I haven't shown it the entire time. But uh, that's a cool little thing. It is cold out here, so I'm going to go back indoors. Eh, much better. So something that's pretty cool I didn't actually get a chance to share with you all these previous few nights is there's a little area for the kiddos over there. There is a pool table over here. Everybody's favorite, which is table football, which means I can go and put that there and boom that straight across the table and have it land. Actually over there, that was a good shot. And then we've got another pool table over here which I was informed is sort of like the more American style of table of uh, snooker or pool, however you wish to say it. It's got like stripes and non-stripes but that one's just got your regular camera. Thank you. It's got your regular just yellow and red. But uh, been pretty good and I've had quite a fair few successes on playing against people in there, so hopefully that'll continue tonight. Will that be B-roll? I don't know. We'll see if I can film it.
So, quick fire room tour. We have a bed, bed, bed. Actually, there's a hole in the middle. There's two beds. We've got our table, not table, tower fan. TV, CPU's remote is way back over there. So, we've got a kettle, mirrors, one of two. And then, if we go in to the bathroom right over here, we have mirror two of two. Of two. And then, we have all our usual other bits and pieces. But, uh, we've got to do a very quick fire version of the room tour because I'm meant to be on the coach in five minutes. Anyway. That is the room, and over there was the balcony that you saw, I think it was in yesterday's club. But now let's go and race a lift, because it's fun. And as promised, we are now going to go ahead and race the lift. The people who are in the lift at the moment have literally just gone down. They've just gone and pressed the button. So I've got to try and get down a set of stairs at lightning speed without, well, tripping. But let's go ahead and make our way down. Okay, I made it past a few people, down and back near the Cove restaurants, and we've made it. And before we do any more of this B-roll footage that I'm probably going to film, I have got to say a massive thank you to Hunt's Coaches once again for helping us with the travel for this trip. I really wish this video was sponsored. So now we're over after a lot of driving and making up some fantastic time over at Leicestershire sort of moto service things. We're going to be getting back on the coach a bit, I say a bit later on, it literally walking in there now. But what we're going to be doing is just probably finishing off this video here. So I hope you have enjoyed our little bit of a tour around Cornwall. And thank you once again to Hans Coaches and our fantastic driver Ben for taking us around there. And also to that car that's managed to stop for us. Thank you. But yeah, that will be it for that. So thank you very much for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Take out.